right, yeah, your statement. go coach, opening statement. Well, I, I thought it was a, a lot different game than it was last weekend. Um, you know, Anchorage has a big, strong team. Uh, they're real physical. They, they play the body well. Uh, they, they defended really well tonight around their net. You know, there's a lot of loose pucks, but they did a great job of tying our guys up and, and not letting us uh, really get any second chances. Uh, I'm happy with our effort, though, after a... With all the hoopla last weekend and, and everything going on, I thought uh, we had a real good week of practice, and I thought it translated into the game tonight. You know, you know we didn't score on our best chances, but there's nights we're not going to score, but we have to play good defense. Uh, Jamie Phillips, another strong game. You know, he made a, a couple big saves that, um, you know, that probably people won't notice, but really kept uh, kept the game at bay and, and gave us a chance to win. How happy were you see were you to see that the guys had the good compete level, had good jump right out of the gate tonight after the emotional stuff last week? Well, very important because I, I know that's a pretty good hockey team over there on the other side, and they play hard, and, and we needed to match the intensity and be ready to play. And uh, you know, I was very pleased with that. But like I said, you, you sense it in practice all week, and, and you can tell if you're off in practice, just, just the energy level. And we had the energy, and um, you know, so I was really happy and, and I'm proud of the guys. I mean they did a good job of staying focused and being ready to play tonight. What uh, if anything were they doing effectively to maintain as much possession as they did? It seemed like in the first two periods UAA could barely get out of its zone without turning it over. Well you know we, we have good quickness and good speed and I, I thought we pursued the puck, we hunted the puck very well tonight and, and that, that's a key. You have to take their time and space away because they, they've got some good players but I thought we did a good job of, of getting pucks deep behind them and then putting pressure on them. And, not really giving them a whole lot. And then our, our back checking, our back pressure was really good. When the puck went away from us or we turned it over, uh, you know, we came back hard and picked guys up. So uh, good defensive effort, but, uh, you know, we got to be ready. They'll be a lot better tomorrow. You insert uh, Malcolm into the lineup and he gets a goal and an assist tonight. Talk about the depth of this team at this point. Well, they, we've got depth, and, and they're really making it tough on us uh, as far as who we put in and who we play every night. And, uh, we've got good competition, and, and that might be one of the reasons why practice was, was pretty good because everybody's battling hard to get in the lineup, and it's good to see when you put guys in, they have success. And I thought Joel Esperance came in and gave us a, you know, a big body against a strong team like that and did a real good job. It might not show up on the score sheet, but he did a lot of really good things down low. Today. Was there a little frustration on the bench? Uh, was the shots and the chances piled up, but not the goals? And if, was that leading to guys maybe getting a little too fancy or making one pass too many or whatever in the offensive end? Yeah, I thought at times we, we tried to get a little too cute. But one of the things we really preached was patience. Patience and discipline this week because we knew uh, what their team is all about. And they're, they're really good defensively. I mean, they make it tough for you to get to the net and uh, to try not to get frustrated, but just to be real patient and stay with the game plan. And I thought we did a real good job of that. The guys did a great job of that. Mantha had a hell of a night for them, didn't he? Oh, he really did. I mean, uh, he, he made a few big saves. He battled hard. He found loose pucks. Um, obviously, I think the crossbar and the post were his, his good friends, his mm -hmm. two good friends tonight. But he, he gave him a chance to win. And that's all you can ask for your goaltender when you go on the road to, to give your chance Give your team a chance to win, and he had a real good game tonight. Uh, we got to get more traffic on him, though. I thought we let him see a lot of pucks, and uh, and they do a good job, though. They really box you out and make it difficult to get in front of them. Defensively, how do you feel like your guys were in front of Jamie tonight? Pretty good, pretty good. The, you know, there's some things where we got mesmerized by the puck a little bit when it was behind the net, and, and they had a couple chances where the guy's in the slot there. And I know one in particular, Jamie made a great save in the third period. He made it look easy, but... Uh, overall, I, I thought we competed and battled pretty hard in our zone, but you, you're gonna, they're going to get chances. You're going to make mistakes, and, and your goalie has to be up to the task, and I thought he was tonight. I don't know what the final count was, but it, as we talked about this week, attempted shots, you guys had a huge advantage tonight. Uh, just uh, just happy with the way that guys were just peppering stuff on there, whether, whether it was on or whether you know, it got deflected or what have you. Yeah, no, we, we got pucks to the net, and we're, we're talking about trying to get uh, a lot of pucks, and then we've got to get people there. And, and then we got a battle, find the loose puck. We had a few rebounds tonight, and we didn't get them up. You know, we just mm -hmm. sort of whacked and taken a little half second and getting the puck over them. And I thought, you know, we got to be better at that. But no, overall, we created a lot of good scoring chances. I don't know how many grade eight chances we have. We'll look at it tonight. But uh, if we have an effort like that and we, we generate as many chances, uh, we're going to finish more on most nights, and that's a good thing. Any areas to tune up or improve upon uh, going into tomorrow? Yeah, I thought along the boards, uh, you know, coming out on breakouts, we've got to do a little bit better job there. Um, you know, and then obviously it's hard to preach offense, but we've got to do a better job in front of our net. We, we have to battle and find those loose pucks. 
and then you know take advantage of our scoring chances because if you let a team hang around like them, uh, you know you're asking for trouble. So um, when you score goals, it takes a lot of pressure off your team defensively, and, and that's one area. But it's hard to preach. It's hard to preach scoring. You know, some nights they go in, and sometimes they don't. But if we continue to play well defensively, uh, we'll win uh, majority of the games. Sounds good. Thank you.